Hey guys, it's the second time I record this, so I should be pretty good at it by now. Okay, so what you gotta do is you gotta fire up JS and save a file called rotate because today we are going to be rotating images. Alright, and this is relatively simple um, because we're just rotating images 90 degrees. Um, rotating uh, images uh, something other than 90 degrees like 45 or 20 that's a whole different story and if I can get that working I'll definitely post a video so you see how that works because everyone wants to know how to rotate an image that is not 90 degrees but let's start with some beginner stuff for now okay so let's define a function let's call it rotate uh, rotate 90 just so we don't get confused and we want to rotate what? we want to rotate a picture so we pass the picture as a parameter um, next let's get the width and the height so get width of pick and let's get her height get height awesome so we got the width and the height of the image now Typically, I would make a duplicate picture at this point, just so I can return the image without fucking around with this guy. But, that's not the case with um, rotating an image, because it's not going to have the same dimensions. Unless it's like, uh, the image is a square, then it wouldn't matter, I guess. But, in the case of rotating an image, um, the new image, instead of having the same width and the height of the previous image, will have the height and the width of the other image. And you'll see what I mean. So if we make a new picture, so make empty picture. This takes a parameter of width and a height. And typically you'd put um, W and H for these variables up here. But since we're rotating 90 degrees that's going to be different it's going to be height and width and that should be intuitive to you for how rotating an image works okay let's keep going so we want to loop we still want to loop through all the pixels in picture so we can map them into a new picture so let's get that done so for y in the range of height and for x in the range of w let's get the color of that pixel so get color of the pixel in pick at x at y so we're getting a pixel of we're getting a, all the pixels in picture and we're getting the color of that pixel so that's why I call it color and that should make sense to you for now because it's just standard looping through an image and getting its color next we want to get the target pixel but the location of the target pixel is not the same as the current pixel or else we'd never be changing anything so the location of the target pixel is actually uh, the flipped coordinates of the current pixel, which is actually pretty cool when you're rotating 90 degrees it makes your, your, your job a lot easier. So target pixel is equal to get pixel in the new picture, this is crucial, at yx. Uh, it, not x, y, just put a comment there so you guys don't screw that up because we're rotating 90 degrees. Next, we're going to set the color of our target pixel equal to, I think you can guess, the color and we can return new pick and we are done. That is how you like Photoshop and everyone rotates their images 90 degrees it's super simple it's like 
maybe like less than 10 lines of code. So let's test it out, see if I can make any errors, because that happens to everybody. Um, and I'm just going to copy the code I have up here when I tested it. So U is going to be our image. Let's make that image two. Let me show her off. And it's this beautiful, um, I don't know, looks like it's some kind of a spell cast. And now let's rotate it. So T is going to rotate U, is going to equal the rotation of U by 90 degrees. Hopefully no errors, and nope. So let's show T. And not surprisingly, our canvas is rotated. If you, if you look at it, it's not obvious with black background. Now it is. You can see that um, this side was, was the same size as when the image was upright. And it assumed that form when we made the new image. And that's all pretty simple. The only thing that a bit confusing is maybe this part by grabbing the target pixel. But all I have to remember is since these are flipped, these two have to be flipped, and that's how that works. Guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in another video of mine. See you later.